As you guys can tell from the title of this video, uh, I'm filming this in J-Cap's old room here. I'm pretty sure Matt's streaming upstairs and uh, I didn't want anybody to hear this conversation before I was able to post it on YouTube, but I have decided that UMG Philadelphia is going to be the last tournament in my um, competing career in competitive Call of Duty. So that may come as a shock to a lot of you, maybe not. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's an idea I've been uh, tossing around in my head for the past month, maybe more so than a month, and uh, especially the past few weeks. Whenever we came back from Thanksgiving break, we all sat down as a team and agreed that we had to grind the game more. We all had the physical capabilities to play this game professionally and bring home tournaments. Uh, we just had to drill these situations, these in-game situations and scenarios into our head over and over and over and over again. And so uh, throughout the month of December, we've been playing a lot of these tournaments and stuff. We won one of the 4v4 search and destroy tournaments, came in second in another 4v4 search and destroy one and done with like a 6-5 loss on the last map. I'm going to sneeze, get ready to say bless you. I lied. It's gone. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so we saw our Search and Destroy game throughout the month of December improve drastically just by practicing the game type. And uh, even more so after like four or five days scrimming right before we left for Christmas break. Um, like I said, after four or five days of consistent scrimming, we were playing right alongside Complexity. Just the other day, even after taking that break, we were playing right alongside the new Team Envious squad. Um, so it's not that this team, I don't want you guys to think it's because we were losing or it has anything to do with the losses. Even when we were winning tournaments and stuff, I was just honestly burned out on the idea in order to play you know at a really high level and like be the best call of duty players in the world obviously we're still like better than 99.9% .9 of anybody who plays but in order to to actually literally be that 0.1% it takes 24/7 focused effort towards competitive Call of Duty. You get on, you know, you're playing tournaments with your team for the day. They have tournaments every day on game battles. Uh, once you're done with that, you'll be scrimming with your team or a fill-in for a different team once that's over. Like I said, you'll, maybe you'll be a fill-in for a different team who needs somebody. You'll be doing late night tournaments. After that, you'll be doing eights. It's a 24-7 thing and it doesn't really leave any room for balance to play other games, any creative freedom for for YouTube or anything like that. And, and it's been something that I've been doing. I've been a sole competitor, only focused on competing for four or five years now and that's why I really don't see this as like a door closing for me I know it is but I see it more as an opening of a, of a different door I, I want to have fun with what I'm doing and I know if what I'm doing every day I have fun with I'm gonna put more effort into it and uh, and ultimately I'm gonna come out with with a better product and and a better life to be honest with you so um, it's not that I, I hate competing or, or anything like that. It's just I'm, I'm kind of burned out on it. And, and some of you older guys will probably understand that or uh, maybe some of your younger ones too. Who knows? Um, for those of you who have been around since like 2008, 2009, you know how much the scene has blown up and, uh, and grown and you understand how long uh, players like myself have been, uh, have been doing this thing. So I got nothing but love for, uh, for everybody in the competitive Call of Duty community. Um, you know, everybody who's been there since the beginning, all of the organizations, if it wasn't for, you know, for Optic, for MLG, for Activision, for Treyarch, for a lot of these people, um, I don't know where I would be today, to be honest with you. I definitely wouldn't be talking to you guys, and they 100% um, they changed my life for the better, and I'll never be able to thank them enough, or you guys. I appreciate the support that you've shown me, uh, not only competing, but since I've started my YouTube channel, since I've started streaming and stuff like that. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking like, oh, this is his goodbye. We're never going to see him again. It's actually like the exact opposite. I'm going to be around a lot more. So I'm still living in the house. Uh, I'm still going to be in the optic house. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff on YouTube and streaming. I know I haven't streamed in a while and I've been saying on Twitter, like, I'm going to be doing more streaming. I'll be doing more YouTube. This was the idea that I had in mind that was going to allow me to actually do that. And that's why I couldn't actually say anything because that's, you know, what I had in mind and I hadn't, <clears throat> hadn't ran it past, uh, past the guys yet and all that good stuff. But with all of that being said, also, I will be coaching the boys in the 2014 season. So I'm still going to be involved uh, very deeply in the community. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but like I said, uh, in order to do that, I don't have to you know, get on and play 10 hours a day to hone my physical skills and get these situations drilled in my head. You know, I can sit back. I can still watch teams stream, watch them practice, uh, use that, use my Call of Duty expertise to break down what they're doing and, and help my team ultimately bring home more championships and, um, and you know, just have more consistent placings like Optic is known to do like back in the day. So this was kind of a short and sweet uh, retirement vlog 
vlog, if you want to call it. Like I said, I hope you guys don't see this as like a, a sad goodbye because I'm still going to be here all of the time just as opposed to me sitting there holding the controller at tournaments. I'm going to be standing behind the guys fucking like screaming and yelling with my Minecraft sword out just like slashing up other teams. So hopefully you guys uh, will enjoy that. We'll enjoy the slew of content coming uh, in the future. And oh man, this little screwdriver just fell and did some damage over there. Wow. Vlog killer. No, I'm joking. I'm just going to keep it going. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's all I wanted to uh, talk about. We got UMG Philadelphia coming up uh, this weekend. And like I said, that'll be my last tournament, obviously. Uh, so we're looking to go out a little last hoorah and see, uh, see how we can do. Like I said, our search and destroy game in the month of December has been improving a lot and also even our respawn. So if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, refresh it for five times if you want. I don't know how many times you want to do it, but as many times as you want to do it, I'd like you to do it that many times. So, and as always, guys, I don't really have an outro, so I'm leaving.